Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to change your keyboard on any iOS 14 device. Now this can be the iPhone XS Max that I have here or literally any other iPhone that's running iOS 14. Now first of all, as you just saw, you need to first have a keyboard installed that is different than the primary one. So as you can see here, I have Gboard installed, which is probably one of the more popular ones, but you can download SwiftKey, whatever the case is, it doesn't matter. You just want to download a specific keyboard of your choice. Now, once you have that all figured out and all dandy, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up that specific keyboard. Now, there are some things that you'll probably have to go through in order to actually get started. So in this case, you can go and see this. You want to go and click get started. You'll probably have to come into settings and allow the keyboard. So I'll go and click here again, click get started. And you want to go in this specific place. You want to click keyboards and you want to enable the keyboard. And on top of that, you want to allow full access. You want to click allow again, and you will see that this keyboard will pretty much already be done. All you have to do is switch to the specific keyboard. Now, let's say you're not using Gboard, you're using a different one. What you would do after allowing full access in your settings panel, you want to go ahead and go to any app that supports a keyboard. So we can go make our way to our notes app. Click here, click over here, add a new note. Now, when you do that, you'll see your standard keyboard down here. So what you want to do is you want to hit the global icon and hold it down. Now, once you do that, you'll see a couple of different options down here. You can move the keyboard to the sides. You'll see the emoji keyboard, but you will see that new keyboard that you just added. Now, it can be Gboard. It can be, you know, Swift key. It can be any keyboard out there. It doesn't matter. This one happens to be Gboard. So what you want to do is you want to go and click on it, and you will see that you do get that new keyboard layout, which is really cool. So that's really pretty much the process. You download the keyboard, you allow it through iOS 14 settings, and then you go ahead and change it by holding down the global icon and then going and changing the keyboard. Now you can go and use the keyboard however you want to, but let's just say you want to switch back to the main keyboard. What you can do in this case is you can hold down the world icon again. You'll pretty much come here and you want to click on the English keyboard again or whichever keyboard that you want to. So if you're switching back to the emoji keyboard, click here. But if you're switching back to another third party keyboard, you would go and click it. So in this case, we can go and click English, which is right here, and it'll go ahead and take us to that specific keyboard. Now, if you're outside of America and you're using a different language, it'll basically tell you that specific language right there. But that's really pretty much the process. There's really not much more to it. So if you guys run into any other problems or have any other questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.